Hi everyone, just a quick video for me about detection risk. Uh, I know this comes up a number of times, uh, so let's go to our audit risk model. If I can find a pen that's a bit better. So our audit risk model is audit risk is a function of control risk inherent risk and detection risk and we usually end up solving for DR because we have the audit risk generally set at low the partner assesses uh, the partner and the staff assess the level of control risk and inherent risk and so then we normally solve for detection risk. And people often get confused about what detection risk does and does not represent and a good way to think about it is that detection risk is actually or really should be called non detection risk because it's really the risk of not detecting a material misstatement oops all right so detection risk is the risk of not finding an error so therefore if DR equals low, then really what we want is the risk of not finding the error to be low. Therefore, conversely, we want the probability of finding errors or misstatements to be high. All right, and the exact opposite if detection risk is high then the risk of not detecting the material misstatements is high and we would only do that in situations where there's low levels of control and inherent risk because there's a low risk of there being their material misstatements anyway so just a, a quick reminder the risk uh, non -det uh, detection risk is actually probably better called non-detection risk, the risk of not detecting a material misstatement. Remember our detection risk also dictates our audit strategy. Right. So where our non-detection risk is low, we're going to do lots of very detailed checking. We call that a substantive approach. And where the risk of not finding a material misstatement is high, then we're willing to take a controls based approach. And we're only willing to take that controls based approach because we know that the percentage chance of there actually being misstatements is already low. Okay, so there's low inherent and control risk in those situations. I hope that clears uh, the issue up. Um, if you want to watch more on uh, the audit risk model, I've got a much longer video that you can find on our YouTube channel about uh, explaining how the audit risk model works.